Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This short video will focus on the relevance of equivalent fractions. When we conduct a survey, it is easier to understand the results if they are expressed in smaller digits as opposed to larger numbers. For example, pretend to survey a group of 24 people with choices of tennis, baseball and hockey. The results might show 12 out of 24 chose tennis, 8 out of 24 chose baseball, and 4 out of 24 chose hockey. It is easier to report the results as a half, a third, and one sixth. If you have another survey and one of the results is 250 out of 500, the students will soon realize that this is equivalent to a half. They also realize very quickly that it is much easier to do computations with a half as opposed to 250 over 500. To subscribe, please click here. If you want to see the video on this topic, please click here. There are many more examples where equivalent fractions are used in real life.